ओके थैंक्स सो आई विल बेसिकली रिवाइज यस्टरडे रमा टॉक लिटिल बिट आई मीन सो वॉज जस्ट टू रिकॉल सो इफ यू हैव एम स्ट्रैंड बेड For simplicity, each carry let's say representation R. You can take any different. And thus, there exist R one, R two, R m minus one different R matrix. where r i so let me call as some level 1 2 up to m where r1 will only act on 1 and 2 and r2 is 2 3 so r i this r matrix will act on i and i plus 1 is strong and any r i matrix can be diagonalized by mixing matrix so some diagonal i so you can this is called a, a mixing matrix and the most general formula for colored home fly one can rewrite in the irreducible representation space h h for a given knot or link all our carrier representation r is a two variable polynomial a equal to q to the power n n is the rank of your gauge group s u n q is nothing but the trace over r to the power n because we have a m strand so each has a representation r in general r1 cross r2 you can take and whatever the braid group is given so i will explain this in, as example so this is called braid word and this is the couple of reference there are lots of reference so you can check this is the most general formula it's called colored home fly pt invariant and uh just a trace over q and identity will give you a sure function is called a sure function and this is nothing but is a quantum dimension sorry is q i i's identity and what is q q is any given representation so this is q i can call q is the element of this so how do we compute let's say some example so uh, let's say uh, you have a a spin one so what is the sure function so this is nothing but is a quantum dimension so what is quantum uh, so just i want to recall uh, so any number is called a quantum number just promote as a q to the power n Minus q to the power minus n. So that minus for according to sigma. Ah, uh, it's for q minus q inverse. This you can expand q to the power n minus one plus q to the power n minus three 
and so on up to q to the power n minus 1. So this is n term. So a limit q tend to 1 will give you a classical number. So we know how to compute the dimension of any given representation. N is an integer. Yes. So how do we compute, let's say, a, a quantum dimension for a given this representation? So we know how to compute this. So we put a, for S U N n n plus 1 and divided by hook number. So we have to promote n as a Q number n, and then n plus 1. And then hook number. So we have 1 and 2. So 2 and 1. If you take a limit q tend to 1, this is a classical, this is a dimension. Uh, this is, I mean, uh, in a representation theory, if you, this is just identity matrix. So if you summed over, you'll get a just dimension of space. This given a representation. Yeah, so what do you have to do to negate the quantum dimension? Uh, that's a di why quantum uh, dimension, because we are doing in the SU, uh, the quantum deformed version of SU. That's why. Because all the polynomial you get in the terms of Q. And that's why uh, this is a, this, is a quantum deformed version of this one. Why is this a polynomial in Q? Because this is trace of one, right? Trace of identity matrix. So where is the Q coming from? Uh, it's a quantum deformed version because we deform as a uh, SU and as a quantum deformation. So all the algebra you can deform as a Q deformation. If you put Q to into one, you will get just a classical this number, n n minus one plus two. Definition of it? quantum deform. Yeah, what, I mean, what is the definition of trace? Ah, trace you have to sum over just just the, only the the dimension of whatever the representation is. This is just I am just showing. Uh, I will show how to compute then why this trace will come. I I will explain. This is just I want to mention that if you do the computation, this will come comes out. Uh, is this clear? So uh, let's do a simple example when m equal to let's say two strand. The simple basic example. So I have two strand, okay? In between, I have a mixing. So let's say n mixing is there. So I have only one R1 matrix exists. So I have a two strand, let's say m equal to two. So thus R1 matrix exists, it will act on one and two, R1. And this blob is is nothing but you have a n number of twist. That's a function of R and matrix that will mix the bread. And if you take a trace over this, this is called bread word. If you take a trace of this, so what is the meaning of trace? Trace you have to identify this. You can get a knot and link, depend upon n. So if n is odd, then you'll get a knot. It's only one string, you can check. If n is even, then you'll get a link. It's a two-component link. 
Yes. Yes. So the it's, so it's always like a. Yeah, over, under, over, under. Yes. If over, then you so can twist. This R matrix is mix one and two, this R1. And this R1 matrix is nothing but, is a diagonal matrix, just trivial. So if n is not just a one and two, Yes. So R1 to the power n will give you uh, this. R1 is just one twist. And R, R1 to the power, this is nothing but, this is your bread word, B. N time. So it's always over over, sorry, over, under, over. Yeah. So it's alternate? Yes, alternate. Yeah, so, so, so the home fly polynomial is nothing but trace over R square, that's your Q, And R1 to the power n. That's, yeah, that's that's the invariant according to that. So what R1 is nothing but if you take trace over this Q, the irreducible representation of R1. R, yeah, that is. Yeah. So, what's R1 is is nothing but. So suppose if you take R cross R, you'll get a Q. Is the irreducible representation. And let's say Q i, and where i run to one to n, in general. And this R1 matrix is a trivial diagonal matrix. This is just a as is an eigenvalue. Rn. This is the trivial R1 matrix. And what's the eigenvalue is nothing but Yeah, I, I will show at, at, at a one. Uh, I, I will explain, yeah, yeah. So let me define just what is R1, then I will just give you some. Yeah, so lambda, what is the lambda one? Lambda Q. Okay, any lambda. So it's nothing but uh, some sign. You have to fix this sign. Q to the power kappa Q. And where kappa Q is nothing but 1 by 2 li li plus 1 minus 2 li. This is a Casimir operator, quadratic Casimir. Yeah, I will I'll show you. So li is the number of box in ith row. So let me give you an example couple up. So what is the kappa q per fundamental? So, so li plus 1 minus 2 li. Yes. What if you write it as minus li plus 1? Oh, sorry, 2i, I think. 2i, right? Yes, 2i. So the kappa q per fundamental representation, you can check it out. So this is 1. L1 is 1, 1 plus 1 minus 2, that is 0. So kappa for symmetric representation, you can work out this is 1, kappa for this is minus 1. And I can give you another example, kappa for let's say 4 box, we will get a 6 and so on. So we know the R matrix in general, R1. So what is the meaning of couple of Q exactly? It's a Casimir, quadratic Casimir. Yeah, Q to the power, so if you could put a Q 10 to 1, it's just like a quadratic Casimir. It's a quantum deformer. So, I is not a quadratic Casimir. There is some, N, this, 
we can work out for it and is NL something plus N. Yes, chi of box is not zero. Mm -hmm. I mean, Quadratic cosmere of chi is not zero. We have subtracted something out. Some plus NL is there, but uh, the, in this paper, they conven I mean, the convention is they took just only the chi piece. So, they, I mean, in general, Casimir operator is defined some NL plus some cup, uh, ah, so cup okay. R, something like that. Okay. Yeah. In the original the zone invariant. Yeah. The way they thought the zone was given was you know, over passing minus upper passing some Q times something equal to something. Yes. If I apply it repeatedly, I can get an invariant for it. Yes. So I think like hopefully also that can like, give some EPLC. Exactly. Right? Let me this this no, let, let me finish my question. Yeah. So I think hopefully also give a similar prescription. Yes. Something into over passing minus something and under passing is the uncrossed. Yeah. With that given any not I can work out this thing. Yeah. Question is from starting from there, uh -huh. if I want to do it that way, uh -huh. and if you're doing it this way, are the steps like all the very uh, there are too many steps from there to what you're doing here or here I think this if you are two strand then it's uh, just uh, I mean so the I same just a, just a simple two strands, what are the simplest possible thing is here, not to get here. Ah, uh, okay. See that exactly how that matches up with all the formulas that you are writing. So the two strand will thus just depend upon the quantity. Tell me what is the non-trivial thing, okay? Okay. What is the non-trivial thing? Here. Uh, I mean, you have written this uh, box there and then box with the young over passing under crossing. Okay, can I work out just simple example, maybe just Please. probably, yeah. yes. And do it both ways, if it's not too difficult, then like, do it both ways. Sure, sure. So let's take R equal to fundamental representation. Okay. And then what is Q? Q is R cross R. So Q I have an element, it's a symmetric. It's fine with me, but on the other hand, this yes. is not like what the Jones had, it's not what I have in mind. Which is okay with me, but uh, that's what I thought you were going to do. Yes. So let okay. Uh, so what's the, uh, okay, so I have a formula is this. So trace over Q and the, what's the bit word is R1 square, uh, R1 to the power N. Anyway, the reason for my question was because I'm not understanding any of the information. And thought you know, when you do that, it capital hopefully I'll be able to understand. I don't understand Q, I don't understand the, you know, this, this Q is nothing but summed over uh, this just one. Check, just show me one knot. So what are the knots that you are dealing with? Take a trefoil and show them by recursion relation what are the procedures involved. No need to work it out. But show them the procedure and if you do it by this method, how simple it is. That is what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So if you use that recursion relation, so you have to focus on one crossing. So let's say what's the recursion relation is Q v of one crossing and then minus q inverse v of thus over crossing v of no crossing. So if you do that, I get an answer. If you know the answer already, you can just write it. Yes, so yes. Exactly. Answer is something q to the power 3. Uh, sorry, 4 minus q to the power 3 something plus q, 1 something like that. Something like this. Yeah. So this is what I would have gotten, I would have gotten by doing this thing. For doing this thing, yes. Now you are going to say that if you, you can get the same thing by your uh, yeah, this, yeah, this is the Fine. different method. So go ahead and uh, Without repetition. Yeah. Without going through the recursion. Yeah, recursion is complicated. Yeah, if keep, it, keep it somewhere so, so that I can see it. You can just uh, do it in the other way. Sir, and do it the other way. Okay, fine. Uh, so let me do that side, okay. So yeah, what is R1? So R1 is nothing but lambda of symmetric, lambda of anti-symmetric. This is my Q.
Okay. Now we have to trace over. I mean, summed over uh, r to the power. So the lambda flow, uh, the lambda flow rate of the expression is equal to q. Yeah. So lambda I wrote this lambda is q to the power kappa q. Yes, sure. So lambda is. No, the the, the two lambda that you wrote two with uh, the two half and the half two and the Yes. Okay. Let me write. So lambda of symmetric is equal to uh, just q, and lambda of anti-symmetric is equal to minus. There is some. You have to fix this sign using some point. So this is the formula. Now we know this one. And now. And the, yeah, you know, the also what the capital Q is and what the is. Capital Q. So the capital Q is this. For a fundamental, if you take a fundamental. Class, for this not for the Q. So Q is for this not is a, a symmetric and anti symmetric. N is the n number of twist. So in this case, it's three. It's three. Just simply write n three in the formula itself. Yeah. And just evaluate. Now you can work out what is the trace over sum. The summation is over. So is trace over q. Yeah. So what you'll get is as lambda symmetric to the power 3 trace over identity plus lambda anti symmetric to the power 3 trace over is this clear now this we know and this is just a quantum dimension of this yes so let me write lambda so this is q to the power 3 and this is for SUN n. So SU2 is just a, a th 3. Uh, yeah, so Q number 3 is, you can check here. So n equal to 2. Yeah. So this is Q square plus 2. No, that's what you're for me. Yeah. Uh, I just want to know like a case fundamental of I. Hmm. Is it equal to the it's a quantum dimension. Yeah. How is it equal to uh, It's an identity matrix. So, is a is a what is the dimension of this? You have to trace over. Plus one by Q to the power three. And what is the dimension for this? S U two is just singlet. It's one. That's it. So yeah, you can check uh, uh, q to the power three, and q number three is nothing but q square plus. Oh yeah, so if you put q ten to one, then it is three classical number. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. Plus minus one by q q. So this is the invariant you can check. Yeah, so that is not quite the same as what you had here. And this is, I think, uh, this overall normalization factor. So this is uh, normalized one. Let me, if let me see that. Let me just see that. Uh, yeah. Let me see that factor of order q for. Yeah, q sure, sure, sure. Why not? Four terms there. If you divide by n naught, because the yeah. So q to the power five plus q q plus q minus 1 by is q to the power minus 3. And take the common factor out. And because if you put a q 10 to 1, you will get a, a 2. So that's your dimension of. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before all of those things, I just want to see this, uh, the answer they wrote here. Yeah, so suppose I will multiply by. No, 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 don't do anything to that. Huh. From there, you just show me like how that factor is coming out. Yeah, divide by R naught. So divide, yeah, that's why I'm saying that. So I can divide by Q plus Q. Now you bring two addresses in this figure. Please give it more 
I have been here for three hours. I want to understand so that I can answer what I want to understand. Please, please, please. Before this, yes. Before this, before this. Before this. So Q plus. You said the particular is there. You stop it. Look, you you can give it out if you want. Look, right? Or the relative Q. Okay, okay. Let's let's go ahead. So. No, but this is. So, because this is easiest to, I mean, check if I will multiply here. I mean, otherwise it will take a time. Q to the power, you'll get a five minus Q to the power four plus Q plus Q to the power three minus Q to the power two plus one. Yeah. Sorry, you'll get Q inverse. Yeah, this is the invariant. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, that actually I didn't remember. Something like that, four, three, one. Some plus, minus, I actually. Yeah, this is this is the right answer, I think. I mean, just up to overall normalization. Maybe I can show you. I mean, is there this formula? Actually, I didn't remember what's the correct formula. Let's so yeah. Uh, so if you let's. So if you take a symmetric box, so this is just a trivial, let's say r equal to spin 1. So r is cross r, you will get a 4, there is no multiplicity. So 3 comma 1 plus, so this is my q. And if you plug it here, you will get a lambda to the power 3 for, okay, let me write this. So what is the home fly for symmetric box? Is nothing but lambda to the power uh, four, three, and sur function for this dimension, quantum dimension, plus lambda three comma one, and sur function three comma one, plus lambda to the power three and you can calculate what is lambda and what is the quantum dimension. That's the invariant. Yeah, is Good enough to do for even more, for more complicated 
So then you may have to create yet another three level resolution relationship. In instead of that, we have this method the method that we have developed. You can do it for any nodes in any way. So that is the structure. And that's the way it goes beyond uh, what uh, those interpersonal relations are. Yeah, so how does it prove that this is invariant under the so-called head of the That's my construction because these are terms I was invariant. Yeah, that is the bit that I'm not able to see. Where, where did that uh, construction begin? That, uh, that the object, the thing that you are going to get out of this yeah. is going to be invariant under the so-called uh, non-invariant. That is going to be right Suppose yeah. you add one more thing for R2 to this. Yeah, I'm going to the second one. Yeah. And that will satisfy read must. That's Is A and Q. So I just stood this. We call a yeah, this colored home fly. Give them the name, but these are not what the Jones found out. These are the ones the home fly guys. Okay. Yes. Yes. More general. Yes. Because now instead of one box representation, I can take two boxes, three boxes, whatever to make. So all those representations are not home fly. They're just more generalized representations, and they all give in way. So, uh, let me ask you, uh, probably like uh, the Vivek Rama mentioned, you know, this. so like uh, the, some of the knots cannot be distributed with Jones invariant. It's called mutant. Uh, can this be the job or not? Yeah, yeah. This, uh, you see, there are some that cannot be distributed by Jones, they, they can be distributed by uh, uh, both of them. Then there are some which cannot be distributed by both of them, but if you go in higher representations, then they may get distinguished. So that's what Rama was talking about. Yes, yes, yes. two comma one. Then, then, but, but there is no proof. So complete classification. That yes. every knot can be uh, distinguished. Because if you do that, then the classification problem. So if m equal to 3, then there exist two R matrix, R1, R2. Here, uh, mixing matrix involved. So R2 equal to u time R1 u string and in general suppose if you have a n number of crossing let's say a1 and then if you have a, a b1 then again you have let's say a2 and B2, and so on. So this is three strand. And if you take a trace of this, 
you will get a knot and link. It depends upon what is the crossing. Is the most general. So now here R1 involved. Here R2 because it's two and three, and R2 is related by some mixing matrix. We uh, will see how to compute this, and R1, R2, and so on. This is the most general. And if you take a trace of this, you will get a, that's, a, that's a formula. Colored home fly PT is the most general for any given representation. Now, uh, let me give you just for fundamental, if the representation I am taking on the strand is just a fundamental of SCL. So now what's the Q here? So Q is a is fundamental cross, fundamental cross, fundamental. It's three strand. So we have a this one and two times this one plus uh, and this. That's it. And what's the home fly PT in general for fundamental and two variable is trace over Q R1 to the power A1, R2 to the power B, B1, R1 to the power A2, R2 to the power B2, and so on. You can see. R1, uh, R2, R1, R2, and so on. Now R1 we know is just uh, depend upon the eigenvalue. So that we know. So R2 will related by some mixing matrix and times R1 and so on. So if there is no multiplicity, so this is just a trivial identity. And you will get just, so let me write the formula. So lambda symmetric to the power of A1 plus B1 plus A2 plus B2 and so on times uh, this. So this is because R1 will only depend upon this uh, fundamental cross fundamental. So this is symmetric or anti-symmetric. So the eigenvalue is only depend upon R1 cross R2. Is this clear? Because this will gives you a so R1 is nothing but is is lambda of symmetric and lambda of anti-symmetric. That's it. And without multiplicity, all are same, R1, 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 and just you have to sum over all. So you'll get a just eigenvalue to the power sum this, and quantum dimension plus to the power, again, same thing. quantum dimension is this clear so yeah so see uh, if 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 there is no multiplicity so this is just identity this is just r1 so we have a just R1 to the power A1, R2 to the power A1, R3 to the power A1. Just R1 to the power A1 plus B1 plus C1 and so on. So if you take a trace, you will get a just eigenvalue because R1 will, R1 will only depend upon this two. So eigenvalue to the power this and trace about the dimension of that representation. You will get this and so on. Now here is a two path. 
So, 2 comma 1 will comes out. So, first you have fundamental cross fundamental. You will get a symmetric plus anti-symmetric. Anti now, again if you take a product, this will give you, so one path with 2 comma 1 is coming from 2 path. Now, here you need to this mixing matrix is involved. This we have to find. So that's why uh, I'm going to use how to compute this mixing matrix from the highest weight method. So plus trace over 2 cross 2 matrix R1 to the power A1, R2 to the power. Uh, yeah, so here just, uh, okay, yeah. So B1 and so on. And this is just uh, trace over 2 comma 1. And this is uh, because rest we have is this term. From symmetric box, we get this term. Uh, Anti-symmetric pure, we get this term. For 2 comma 1, we'll get this. So trace over 2 cross 2 matrix because we have a two path. And what is R2 here? For we have some U21, we have to calculate. And this R1 is two cross two matrix because it's a two path. It's two cross two, two cross two, and U21. This is R2. Is it clear? So this will come on this or this. Is it clear? Uh, this U21 because R1 is 2 cross 2 matrix and the unity matrix will act on 2 cross 2 matrix. So we have to find what is the unity matrix here. And that's it. So we have to use a, a method which discovered by this uh, Merino and Merjo. It's called highest weight method. So that you can compute this what is the U matrix. And once you know U matrix, so this is just R matrix we know, R2 if you know U matrix, so R2 you know, just we have to trace over, we'll get an invariant. That's a clear. Yes, I mean. I mean, in general, you can go for. What That's it, you have to solve. And the various ways in which they find the unit. Yeah, yeah, the highest weight method is just one of the method. You can find and you can solve. So fundamentally, you see that the new matrix which is lambda 1 and lambda 2, again, values of lambda symmetric and lambda Is this clear? You can write it as because here multiplicity is 2, so it's a 2 cross 2 path, so 2 dimensional space. You have to trace over 2 dimensional space. Here is just a one dimensional space because there is no multiplicity. Just if you trace, then you'll get just a dimension and eigenvalue. Yeah, if you take a symmetric, then Q will change and so on, and that's uh, that's. Uh, yeah. Because the Q will change and multiply. The same question I asked. How different is U from the Raka duality matrix that we used to use? Uh, yeah. How different is it? 
uh, it turns out ki is a raka matrix for sc2 i mean ops not a, uh, i mean symmetric we know it turns out is the raka of sc2 but that raka of sc2 also you should write in my notation aig r1 r2 r3 r4 what is that representation uh, can, can i write that? this I mean, so so t uh, let's say yeah. if uh, let's say fundamental 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 uh, this is uh, two cross two matrix so we have a singlet and a symmetric and singlet and symmetric so it's a one and root three by two Yes, so one by two, and square root root three by two. For H2, so for H2, it is exactly And this. For H2, it is exactly rough. And this. H2 three. Uh, why is it is it different from Raka? Uh, yeah, it is, this is same for any S. This is for S U N. So this this uh, this turns out this U two one turns out the exactly this one. Independent of any this is rank. this is not depend upon rank. Matrix for fundamental. Interesting. So, but is that S U three rank also? It's S U two rank. Is S U two but is is dip independent on N. What is AC3 for this kind of a representation? It's a 3 cross 3 matrix, no? Because, uh, no, 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 it's a 2 cross 2, but it's N dependent, I think, yeah. 1 by 3, root 3 by 3, and Yeah, so you have a, the dimension of this, so you have, a, let's say, N, N plus 1 divided by N. This is for SUN. Okay, okay. See, this is a Raka matrix. This quantum 6J. Yes, quantum 6J symbol. And this is the form, I mean, for SUN. So for SU3, 3, N equal to 3, you'll get a, yeah, 6. You're saying for the U2, 1 for the SU1 is the same matrix. This one, this one, this one. SU2. Instead of box N. Yeah. This is S U N Raka for fundamental. Some mistake there. S U N Raka will have n boxes, right? No, no, it's just for fundamental. For this kind of a representation. No, no, it's the same. For a single box fundamental, S U N Raka will be one root of n minus one into s plus one. That's what. Yes, yes. It's still a two by two matrix. Yes. Yes, that's true. Yeah, but but that, that's true. And for n equal to 2, they will go to this value. Yes. Yeah. But that n equal to 2 answer only matches for all the ingredients. Of so, which means if I'm doing SU3, I still use the SU2 uh, right. A's here. Yes. yes. Not uh, SU3. Yes, yes. That's true. That is the beauty of this procedure. Uh, that if we go to not symmetric, but you take two row representation, I think the SU3 Raka matrices will come. Uh, because 3 cross 3, uh, okay. Think, how do you get this? How do you pass this in? Which one? The how, how, how do you say that this is the right U to use here? Yeah? Okay, I am going to explain how do you compute this U matrix. Uh, I guess one more question. One, one, one quick question. Here, finally, for the invariant, is the same yes. that, that I would have gotten by our method, uh, where I would have written in, uh, in, uh, in Raka. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And now I find it in the answer because I have put an S in Raka, but the diagonal R uh, lambda, the R matrix, is also the same, and then I have the old one. No, no, no. See, the same. I can value the same. No, no. When you go from R1 to R2 with the duality matrix, there is a universal duality matrix. You don't come up.
Okay, so highest weight method is a systematic method. Uh, now my focus is just to compute this one. So this is much simpler. Two cross two matrix. So uh, the method is saying that any representation R of uh, okay, so uh, let's some setup is R is can be labeled by Young Tableau diagram. Lambda is the number of box in first row. Okay, so this can uh, represent as a highest weight vector whose basis is. lambda 1 times 0 and lambda 2 times 1 and so on, lambda 3 times 2 and so on with some uh, all possible per permutation. So as an example, so the fundamental box is nothing but is a vector 0, is a 1 box, lambda 1 is 1 and symmetric is this is nothing but is 0 0 is nothing but a tensor product and 2 comma 1 has two bases so 2 0 1 1 so lambda 2 is 1 so 0 is z, z, uh, yeah let's say 1 comma 1 so it's easier so 1 0 and 0 1 this is the possible basis. So this is a highest weight vector state whose basis is like this. So that's the construction. So any representation can be uh, uh, represented as a vector in this basis. And where we have a, a generator of S, you, you can generate the higher highest weight vector uh, so now T i plus and T i minus and H i Yes. One is one zero one one. One. Yes. Shouldn't that be just zero one? Yeah, so is it zero one and one and all permutation. This is the basis you can write a vector. Is it just a basis? Yeah. So now we have a three generator which we know is a raising and lowering, and this is a Cartan generator of SUN, quantum deform SUN. And you can act on this and you can uh, get the higher vector state. So this is the highest vector state, and you can act this operator to get the another vector state in this. So, so let me give you some example, maybe it's clear. So what's the T i will act? So T i will act on i minus one vector. This is the fundamental representation of S u n. So this is just a will give you a ith vector of fundamental representation. So as example, so T1 will act on 0, will give you a 1 state. And T1 will act only on 1. So uh, you can, if you want to construct the 1 state, you have to act T1. And if you want to construct the 2 state, up fundamental representation, you have to act T2 and so on. T2 on is 1, so and so on. And T1 minus, so Ti minus will act on I, will give you I minus 1 vector. So this is like a reverse. So if you have I vector, T1 minus act, will give you a i minus 1 vector. So 
yeah so and you can define what is the coproduct and so on so if you have a tensor higher dimensional vector so so for example if t2 will act on 1 it will give you a 2 and t2 will act on 2 it will give you a 0 so it will act only in the ith vector ti and one can define the coproduct so so this is simple i mean s so the coproduct is defined identity cross ti plus uh, and uh, uh, hi okay i haven't written so hi will act on ith vector it it will give you a 1 by 2 i and h i will act on i minus 1 it will give you a minus 1 by 2 i so this is the operator of uh, raging lowering and carton generator on vector this is a, just a fundamental representation and delta t i minus will act Identity. Okay, so let me just uh, give you a couple of examples just uh, uh, because uh, lack of time. I will just give you some trick how to directly compute delta T, the coproduct action. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, So suppose if you have a, let's say, symmetric box. Now, this is nothing but a 0, 0. Hmm? Now, you want, I want to construct one 0 kind of state. Now, it's a tensor product, so you have to use the coproduct. So delta t1 plus will act on 0, 0. OK? So OK. So the, Let's uh, you can use this formula and verify this trick is that start from t t1 plus act will on this and q to the power hi will act on this one. So from, you have to start from right hand side. So you will get a one zero and then q plus uh, zero one. So this is the state. Uh, just use this fact. So T1 will act on this. So HI will act on, uh, let's say, 0. It will give you a, so let's say uh, H1, let's, uh, H1 will give you a Q, uh, acting on 0, will give you a Q1. Uh, uh, and H1 will give, acting on 1, it will give a minus 1. Because the um, here minus sign is there. Because two h i is there, so you'll get this is just trick. Trick I mean you have to use. No, just okay, fine. So, so uh, let me give you a more. I mean just to work out. Suppose if you have a uh, trip. Uh, So this is nothing but delta at t1 act on 0, 0, 0. So how do we compute? So direct computation is this. So start from here. So we 1, and then count how many 0 is right side. That is the power of q. So you will get a 1, 0, 0, q square, and then plus 
Now T1 will act on this. So how many zero in, in right side? Just one. So Q, 0, 1, 0, plus, then last one, 0, 0, 1. Yes, this is such a trick. And for T1 minus, yeah. So, yes, three. So, let me give you some. Uh, uh, so, you can check what is this. T product of two and one. So you take the top one of the zero zero state which he has, and then multiply it with zero. Yeah, that we'll get. I mean, just I want to because of lack of time. Just I want to. So, so this you'll get a, a one zero zero zero, and you have a three zero. Let me put one here. So two zero one. So one, so this will give you Q inverse, and this will give you Q square. So you'll get a Q plus. Now, uh, then it act on second one. So zero one zero one because it's, it's the, this will give a minus, this will give a plus. So there is no coefficient. Then 0, 0, third one is 1, and 1, it will give a Q inverse. Is it clear? And fourth one is 0, because T1 will act on 1, it will give a 0. T1 will act only on 0. So the trick is this, just count the number of zeros on the right hand side, and how many number of 1? So number of 1 will give you cancellation. Number of 0 will just raise the power of Q. So here you'll get a Q, Q, and then this is 0, and this is this one. So then and so. And T1 minus will act just the opposite one. So uh, let me give you some examples. So if you have, let's say, 0, 0, 1. OK. So start from uh, a left hand side. So T1 will act only one, uh, 1, and it will give you a 0. So and so you have a 0, 0, 0, 0. So T1 will minus will act on this. And count how many. 0 here, that will give you just a power of q, so minus q. This is just opposite one. Now here we, we don't have any 1, so it, this is just one least state. Rest is 0 on this and this and this. So maybe let's say 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, sure, sure. Let's tell me. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, so is is it familiar to con const I mean, construct the state any given a vector? You can use this operator. Okay. So, yeah. Then, how do we construct this state? So. We have three strands. So first, you have to fuse like this. Fundamental, fundamental, fundamental. And then you will get here a triple box, and two, uh, two comma this, and then anti-symmetric. And you can, you have two type of fusion. So you will get again the same re uh, relation. If you compare this vector, and you'll get a unity matrix. So, okay. Now, so let me go fast. So, I have to construct this state. 
from fundamental cross fundamental i have to construct two comma symmetric box from this representation so this is trivial so zero cross zero will give you a zero zero state this is okay because this is the highest weight vector of this now uh, what about this we need 1 0 and 1 1 this is the highest state so how do you compute you can use this one i mean i have 0 0 state i can act on t1 plus i will get a 1 0 q plus uh, 0 1 and this state is a symmetric and this is anti-symmetric. So this must be orthogonal. So you can write this state. Exactly like the way we do flexible and coefficient. If you knew one of the 1,0 state, you write the 0,0, you write it as an orthogonal. Yeah. So if you take an inner product, uh, sorry, this is 0. You will get the. So, this is state we know. So, uh, let me go to the third one. So, what we have to now? So, we have a symmetric, and now you have to do one more fusion to get a 2, comma 1. This is one path. Another path is this one. Time fundamental will get a to come. So let me call. And this is I am just taking from right hand side. So this is the picture. So this I call a right and one and two. So I have a two highest big big tester. I can compute. How do you compute? So, uh, I have to construct 2, 0, and 1, 1. So, here 2, 0, the first one 0, 0, cross 0. How do we construct this state? 2, comma 1. So, either I can act delta T1 on here, then I will get a 0, oh, sorry, 1, 0, Q plus uh, 0, 1. And then I can take a so I will get a Q times 1, 0, 0 plus 0, 1, 0. So this is the state. This is first possibility. Also I have another possibility. I can act T1 here. So I have a two possibility. So I have a symmetric, so this is 0, 0, cross. I can act a T1 here. I can get this one also. This is another possibility. So this will give me a just 0, 0, 1. So this is two possible linear combinations. So the actual state of this. It's that is state q times 1 sorry 1 0 0 plus 0 1 0 plus alpha times this state now we have to figure out what is alpha so alpha you can figure out because this is the highest weight vector any lowering operator will give you a zero so if you act T1 minus, so if just I, because of running time, on this will give you a zero. So you can construct what is alpha. So alpha is nothing but. 
the Yes. So you will get a unitary matrix because. So let me draw this. Yes. So let me write this also. Yeah, so should I have time? I don't know. So R1. So this is the state zero one zero plus Q times one zero zero minus two Q Q square zero zero. This is the value of alpha you can get. 0, 1. This is coming from this one, and you have another one on right sector. Yeah, that is coming from anti symmetric. This is symmetric. So you can rewrite this one. So that is. Uh, so 0, 1, 0 uh, plus 1, 0, 0. And similarly, you can do from the left sector side. Two state you'll get. Q times 0, 0, 001 plus Q square 0, 1, 0 minus 2. Q one zero zero, and you have to find out what is the normalized vector. So this is a simple vector. You find the norm of that. So, and similarly, the second one. Now uh, is minus Q zero zero one plus zero one zero. This is the uh, vector. Now you can compute what is the projection and you'll get a unitary matrix. So I have this. So let's say you have a right sector 1, right sector 2, and I have a left sector 1, left sector 2. Take the inner product, you will get what is alpha, what is beta. So that turns out and minus 3q by 2, 1 by 2. This is actually SC2 for fundamental Raga matrix. So just Oh, quantum dimension, if you have something like Q plus Q inverse, so classically this is 2. So you can rewrite in the quantum dimension. So uh, this method is systematic, but uh, till R equal to 4 we got in this paper. We computed all unitary matrix, all U and V matrix. But it is tedious. I don't know this program is taking a lot of time if you go 4, 5, it's done. Yeah, here you have to take a norm of this. So this is not normalized state. If you take a normalization and take an inner product, you get exactly this. And this one is uh, actually coming from uh, eigenvalue hypothesis. Just two cross two matrix just involve the eigenvalue. And eigenvalue we know for any representation. If you substitute this one, you'll get exactly that matrix for any two cross two matrix. So that we found for Till 6 cross 6 matrix, we have a closed form expression. Uh, that's it. And for. Th so, to summarize, we did explicitly for the fundamental, and we could see it was in this. But that one, in R cross R, giving you two representations with lambda of alpha of the representations, you can directly write that to matrix with eigenvalue. Yeah. But it's a tedious. But it is definitely this method is systematic, but 
So nobody, I mean, work out if you have a four is ten and r equal to three box, four box. So, so, so. Yes, yes. And this method is also nobody work out if you have four is ten, five is ten, if representation is three box, four box, and so on. It's a tedious, but I don't, I don't think if just little bit to, I mean, write a good program. That's it. Because method is systematic, how to act, raising and lowering of it. We are out of time. Yes, yes, stop. Yeah, stop. Okay.